All right, it's time for another five minutes. Ashley Ragland is joining us today. Ashley, how are you? I'm doing great, Eric. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, we're glad to have you. And uh, I know our topic today is going to be a little bit different than we've done in the past here in this first season. So what are we going to talk about? Well, you and I picked a great topic today. We're going to talk about our favorite sports movies. Oh, I'm excited about this one. So I've got a couple. I know you have a couple and one of them you already know, but uh, the second one I think might take you by surprise a little bit. Okay, here we go. Five minutes on the clock. I'll get things started here. Uh, I'm a broadcaster. I do play by play. It's what I want to do in life. And for me, Harry Doyle is somebody I looked up to, even though he's a fictional character. Um, but the way Bob Euchre was able to kind of caricaturize himself um, was something I looked up to even as a young broadcaster. And I've, I've, admittedly ripped off some of his lines during games. Uh, Who hasn't? Sarcastic, sarcastically, of course. Um, <laughs> but he was the focal point of that, that whole movie for me as far as the comedy. But, you know, when you're actually learning how to uh, make your craft better every second and you look to a guy who's not even real, basically, and just <laughs> being slapstick on the air, um, that's not my entire style. I, again, I use it ironically, but uh, I think for me, Major League is, is my number two favorite sports movie. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't disagree with you about Major League. And I think it's, it just shows how great of a broadcaster Bob Euchre is because he wasn't afraid to make fun of himself on a major motion picture in addition to just in his daily work because he was always de deprecating and sarcastic and funny, even just on regular Brewers broadcasts when I've heard recordings, but um great choice i would say for me my number two choice of favorite sports movies is miracle the story of the 1980 uh, u.s men's hockey team i think uh, for me because i wasn't alive for the game um it really just resonated a lot as a hockey fan um you know a lot of people don't even realize that this game wasn't aired live it was a delayed broadcast so most of the united states didn't even realize we had beaten russia until hours after the game was done um and i love that it was a movie where you know they did it right in a sports sense that they hired athletes who could act instead of actors who you know had a rudimentary knowledge of skating and hockey and everything so it made the hockey scenes just so authentic and you know if you're not a hockey fan and you watch miracle i i would be hard pressed to argue that you're you come away from that not a hockey fan afterwards Oh, that's a, that's a good pick, and, and one I would lean toward working in hockey myself regularly. That, that certainly is a good one. Now for my yeah. favorite sports movie of all time, and this is where, uh, this is kind of in the realm of is Die Hard a Christmas movie debate. Uh-oh. Uh, my favorite movie of all time, and it's also my favorite sports movie of all time, of course, is Ace Ventura Pet Detective. It is the <laughs> dumbest movie I have ever seen, and I love it so much. It's the only movie I can quote from start to finish. My mom was a huge Dolphins fan. Um, we watched that movie together and Dan Marino's in it. He was terrible. And I love Jim Carrey yeah, as a big actor. He's, he's probably my favorite. And that movie from start to finish is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. And I couldn't love it anymore. And it's one of those, when you see it on TV, you got to watch it from wherever it is and pick it up all the way to the end. You're, it's a channel stopper every time I see it. So for me, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, not just the greatest sports movie for me, but my favorite movie of all time. I mean, you are entitled to your opinion, and I'm not here to sit down and disagree <laughs> with you. Uh, I don't know that I would ever consider Ace Ventura Pet Detective a sports movie, but, you know, to each their own at this point in time. And, and yeah, is Die Hard a Christmas movie is a valid question. Um, so for me, my number one pick would probably be Bull Durham. Um, as a female baseball fan, that movie kind of taught me that it was okay to like a sport that I never played. Um, and it's a really fantastic rom-com and also authentic sports movie. Um, you know, the director, Ron Shelton, who also wrote it, he was a former minor league baseball player. So he wrote the scenes the way that he experienced life when he was in the minors. Um, you know, and, and it's just such a, such a quotable movie. And it just, as a baseball fan and as a sports fan, it's just got a lot that I take with me, you know, mm -hmm. the whole church of baseball thing, Annie's thing about, you know, when I found out there were 108 stitches in a Catholic or uh, 108 beads in a Catholic rosary and 108 stitches in a baseball, I gave Jesus a chance. And, you know, when you're, when you're walking out of the tunnel to go to a game and you see the green of the field and, you know, the, just, it, it's, there's this aura about it and it is just church of baseball to me when I go to games and that that's always going to stick with me um and I just think too it's like the the interactions between the players crash and epi Calvin and you know all the other guys and just you know lollygaggers uh you know eight and 16 how did we ever win eight just there there's too many quotes frankly I could go on for probably 25 minutes so <laughs> yeah and you know 
like we say, with Kevin Costner, he's a Fullerton guy. Go Titans. Go Titans. So you can't, can't be mad at him, him for that. Yeah. Um, Bull Durham was a movie I had never seen for most of my life. And actually, you were the one who told me to go watch it uh, back when we used to work together. And I, I did, and I enjoyed it. it. It's not in my top couple, but um, I, I certainly thought it was, it was a good movie. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to argue with that. You, you bring up all the good, valid points, and you're much more intellectual about this than <laughs> I could ever be. Uh, and with that, we have hit five minutes. So all right. thank you for being here, Ashley. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me, Eric. This is fun.